her for speaking the truth is an injustice. You know, they pretend, all of the pundits pretend, you know, there's no way Democrats can rig a primary. No one's saying that people went in and changed the voting, uh, you know, the, the voting machines. What we're saying is the superdelegates, the 700 superdelegates that had superpowers to use... Exactly. To, use their, <laughs> to use their power over the will of the people to influence their communities. We went out to these uh, locations. The people told us that they wanted to support certain, uh, uh, Senator Sanders, but could not because of the backlash that they right, that pretty me, much Donna Brazil is receiving now. You're, Doug, you're, you're an honest guy. Yeah, look, I, I support the general thrust of what you and certainly Teslin are saying. People were disenfranchised. But I want to go a step further tonight. The entire Democratic Party stinks from the head down. The whole process, everyone has really stain on their hands. And with this new revelation tonight on the emails that it probably involved gross negligence, it strengthens my call and that of others for a special prosecutor to look at that Comey, the gross negligence, to look at the email deal more generally, to look at Uranium One, the dossier, all of it. Because at this point, what we know is getting more and more troubling. I say this as a loyal Democrat. I know Teslin's a loyal Democrat. But as she said, and I would say, this is not partisan. This is about preserving our democracy.